Hi, this is Tara Dunn with Real Time at IPC Apex, and I am here today speaking with Trevor Polidor from Rogers. Hi, Trevor. Hey, Tara. How are you? Good, good. So I know we're going to talk about some new 3D printing materials that Rogers is launching here at Apex, but before we do that, um, do you want to give us just a little bit of background on yourself and what you do at Rogers? Sure, yeah. So I'm Trevor Polidor. I'm the new product development group leader for Rogers Corporation. Uh, I've been with Rogers for about eight years now, and my background is in uh, material science, and so I've worked with our new product development group uh, to develop some new unique materials like this 3D printable material in our R&D center in Arizona. So, excited I'm, to be here. I'm very excited about this material. Um, I know you've got a few samples, mm -hmm. if you want to show yeah. what so, the 3D printing materials do. So we're launching this new 3D printable material here at uh, Apex Expo. And what we're really trying to do is give our customers some unique design freedom to be able to create three-dimensional components and circuits like the one I'm showing here, where they wouldn't be able to fabricate it with other traditional uh, manufacturing processes. So these are things like three-dimensional circuits like I showed, or lenses where you can kind of grade the dielectric constant due to the unique features of you know, the additive manufacturing process. Um, and it gives you total control of the shape and, and the properties of the material that you didn't have previously. And so we're really excited about this material because it's the first low loss RF material for 3D printing and it will, it will change a lot of the design capability at our customers and so it's really exciting. Who do you think will be the early adopters of this material and technology? What type of applications? Yeah, so I think anywhere, any application where you that unique design freedom gives you a performance or cost advantage and generally these are applications in like aerospace and defense where C-SWAP is of uh, most importance. Um, you know, typically you know, our customers have uh, designed under the same rules of PCB fabrication for, for decades now and while we introduce new materials and, and new laminates for example this gives them uh, totally new freedom to be able to design in three dimensions that um, I think will, will specifically in those applications give them really enhanced performance um, and other unique characteristics that they've been trying to achieve with 2D materials that they really haven't been able to achieve. So. You know, that's a really good point that I hadn't thought of until we were sitting down to talk. I'm used to PCB design and mm -hmm. two dimensions. So are there all new design rules or how do you bring that out to your customers? Yeah, so you know, we, we try to tell customers they have, since it's a free form fabrication process, you really don't have to think about um, circuits in a, a layered structure and, and how you, you know, introduce things like vias and how you drill patterns. And being a PCB supplier, we've seen our customers, we work really closely with our customers. We have a great technical service group that's out in the field working with fabricators and as designs get more complex and we see very high layer count substrates, um, you know, we see customers trying to do things that would be better suited with a totally new fabrication process. Things like, uh, you know, drilling thousands of holes in a laminate to get some gradient property across the laminate. Uh, to doing things like adding molded parts, trying to laminate them, or using flexible substrates to kind of laminate to curve surfaces. And, um, you know, this gives you just complete freedom of making the shape you ultimately want, rather than thinking about how do I fabricate when I start with a circuit on a 2D substrate like they have been previously, so. So, an exercise in creativity, I'm sure. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything you can dream of, that's the benefit. <laughs> that's, that's great. And so how is this going to market? You must have industry partners that you're working with for the printing? Absolutely, yeah. So Rogers, we're a specialty materials company, and, and you know, uh, in that realm, we've developed this 3D printable material to, to sell directly to end users, but we partnered with a um, company to help enable the manufacturing side. Um, Fortify is a company out of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, we're partnered with them to kind of give our customers a turnkey solution uh, to manufacturing these materials. So, you know, we're focusing on developing the best RF materials for 3D printing. And Fortify is a great partner because they help enable the manufacturing. And if a customer were to um, use this material, they can use Fortify equipment. It's all calibrated, ready to go. And they can make any shape they want from day one with that technology. So we're trying to work with um, industry partners like that that help enable our customers' easy manufacturing. Um, and on the circuit side, we're working with Veritech pretty closely. And um, you know, this, this part itself is metallized with Veritech technology. Um, you know, we've seen a gap in the industry not only for the RF materials for 3D printing, but in the metallization techniques as well. Um, you know, there are a lot of uh, 
techniques that use things like silver inks that really don't give the performance uh, that, that RF designers are used to and our PCD laminates, they're really looking for uh, you know, bulk copper conductivity and being able to have the same performance they would expect in a laminate be in this technology as well. And so you know, those partnerships will really help our customers uh, you know, use technology to the fullest capability. So it's very exciting. You know, not only do you have the materials, but you've also worked out the supply chain mm -hmm. for, for your customers, which I think is wonderful. Yeah. Um, I'm very, ex very excited about some of the opportunities and possibilities with this. Yeah, yeah. I really think it's going to um, be exciting to see how customers use it. You know, we have some ideas uh, directly, but you know, we're working with a lot of research groups and uh, great corporate R&D centers that have used this technology in ways we would never dream of, and so we're just getting started, and that's really exciting. Definitely, with the creativity. Um, when somebody has this in mind, where's mm -hmm. the first? How do they start? Do they contact you guys, and you help with the design? And yeah, absolutely. Like so they could contact us or a partner, Fortify. It really depends on um, you know how they want to produce parts. But at the end of the day, we're both uh, you know very knowledgeable in this area, and so customers can reach out to us to get samples, uh, you know, printed samples. Since it's 3D printing, you know, there's no upfront NRE costs, you know, any sort of, any design can be made instantly, and so, um, you know, in that realm, sampling is very easy for us in Fortify, and if customers want to learn more about the technology, they can just contact us directly through our website, reach out to a sales engineer, um, and we can get them something very quickly, so. So I'm sure this has benefits um, for lead time as well, compared to a molded process or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we you know we have some other you know three dimensional materials as well, um, but really the benefit of the the Radix 3D printable dielectrics not only in the design freedom, um, its ability to prototype and have those quick iteration cycles like you mentioned, you know rather than wait for a mold to get made, you know or uh, you know, just, just longer lead times for these complex designs that might need to be machined in a, a high step process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's a matter of hours going from CAD drawing on your computer to seeing the part in front of you, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, is there anything about this material that we haven't touched on that you think people need to know? Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, one important aspect is there's the material, manufacturing, some of these synergistic technologies like the Ameritech metallization to get circuits, but also, you know, there's some enabling software capability out there as well um, that we're developing. So customers for these complex designs like this where you have a gradient dielectric constant throughout, you know, it looks intimidating at first. How does someone design something like that? Um, and we're really building the groundwork now, the foundation, so that customers don't really need to think about the complex designs. If they want a gradient dielectric constant, our software workflow will allow them to just say, hey, I want a DK of 1.2 to 2 in this area, and it's graded like that, and this design will be generated for them um, without much thought put into it. So. That's exciting as well, and so we're see seeing a culmination of all these technologies come together um, around this material that, you know, we're going to see some really exciting parts come out of soon. Yeah, I think we will see some exciting applications. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, so thank you for joining me here at um, IPC APEC show. Great. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate it. And this is Tara Dunn with Real Time at IPC.